While Soul Edge has appeared constantly throughout history, Soul Calibur's whereabouts are still shrouded in mystery. In time, I lost interest and gave up trying to search for any traces of it. But after resuming my search later, I found that it had been taken to a temple in the east at some point. With it were taken a staff able to absorb all manner of energy and a mirror capable of purifying evil. These sacred treasures were used to create Soul Calibur and amplify its power. No one knows what had happened to the Guardians of the Spirit Sword, but they must have met with ruin, losing the Spirit Sword and their other treasures. As for the temple, it later became Ling Sheng Su, a famous martial arts dojo that worshipped the Spirit Sword and the other weapons as the Three Sacred Treasures. But now the Spirit Sword is no longer there. The evil sea deeply affected Ling Sheng Su and most likely caused it to attract evil energy. Its martial arts students were soon overcome by madness and battle lust and ended up killing each other. The temple fell in a single night. Therefore, no one knows what happened to the spirit sword. Only one student of Ling Sheng Su survived. While the survivor didn't possess Soul Calibur, there was clearly merit in looking into him. What powers did he possess? What could he accomplish? I was deeply intrigued. Nightmare, correct? <laughs> Answer me! Can you not speak? I can. I'm Nightmare. You make me sick. My comrades deserved better than that brutal death at your hand. You shall die here this day. Revenge shall be mine! Must this go on for? Will I ever be free of this nightmare? in Ostrinsburg, but when I went there, Soul Edge's master was gone. I thought it was because Soul Edge had been destroyed by another. But if Nightmare still has the Cursed Sword, then he cannot be allowed free reign. Even with so little information, I cannot give up my search. Besides, my mission to save people from evil has not changed. Almighty Hephaestus, protect me. Nightmare? Ugh, don't call me that! 
If you are Nightmare, then I must defeat you. I expected as much. And then I must destroy Soul Edge. Soul Edge is not here. Do you know where I can find it? <sighs> I know the road you walk is long and arduous. However, I can cleanse you of evil. And maybe even save you. Stop! If you really are not Nightmare... Leave me be! I want to save you. <sighs> there is no turning back. Present? I'd forgotten what it was like to feel so at ease. What are you? Sorry, but you have my gratitude. Leave Soul Edge to me. No, wait! I never found out his name. However, I had a feeling I had done what I was sent to do. Still. I know not if it is wise to leave everything in his hands. Almighty oh, Hephaestus, hear my prayer. Please watch over him. Even reduced to shattered shards, it emanates evil. If I don't do something, it will corrupt the area with its wickedness. Or still, someone could come here and try to resurrect it. <clears throat> I may never be able to pay for my sins, for their evil can never be expunged. However, I may be able to atone to an extent if I could ensure that Soul Edge never wreaks havoc again. Yes, that's the only hope I have. I must do it with my own two hands. Can I ever truly atone? Look at all this death, such ruthless, wanton slaughter. I've got goosebumps. I wonder what nightmares like. I want to see them now. We're getting closer. We've got to be. That means some silly flies are going to start buzzing around. Did you really think you could escape, I Drosel? I have been ordered to kill you if you refuse to come back to us. Kill us? Just you try it. <laughs> you heard her! Owie! 
Ostrinesburg. So that's where Nightmare is. As long as the Bird of Passage or anyone stays out of my way, it's time to meet Nightmare. Woo! This is where it starts to get good! I only started writing this tome as a pastime. But in order to give it a clear perspective, I must reveal my identity. I was once one of the Guardians of the Spirit Sword. The precepts of the Guardians were very strict, one of which stated no Guardian may ever touch Soul Calibur. But in my younger days, I failed to properly suppress my urges. When the others discovered my designs, they broke my arms and banished me. Amid my despair, I searched for a way to survive. What I discovered was the art of reincarnation. After a long period of training, I mastered the secrets contained within this lost wisdom. I reincarnated myself over and over again and became an entity that could transcend generations. At first, I didn't realize the price I would have to pay for eternal life. For every time I reincarnated, I experienced the pain of death. It felt like my soul was being crushed. It is hard to put such pain and suffering in words. Indeed, I hadn't managed to completely escape death. No matter what one may accomplish in life, death remains inescapable. My bodies have lain in countless graves, but my soul will never rest in peace. So it was that I came to yearn for the final eternal death I could never have. And such desire began to corrupt my everlasting life. Gradually, I began to seek out death itself. Nightmare. At last, we meet again! Yes. It is I, Nightmare. Exact your revenge. I need not your permission. Prepare to die! However, I cannot die yet. and nothing else. I will not submit to that living nightmare again. My crimes weigh heavy on my soul. Ha <laughs> ha 
I smell you. I smell you. So sweet. The scent of soul edge. Still, I attract the malfested like flies to dung. But I'm confused. You're undoubtedly nightmare. You have soul edge hidden on your person. Yet, you appear so weak. Wait a moment. Do you know how it is I know your nightmare? Alas, I have no idea. It's because I was a malfested who worked under you, you fool! You weren't easy to find. The nightmare you seek is no more. <laughs> so it seems. How about I crush you like the worm you are and become the next nightmare? Malfested are appearing more and more. Could it be that Soul Edge is getting stronger? I refuse to give up. I'll do whatever it takes. There must be some way. Oh. That's it. That sword that pierced Nightmare, I, I mean me, and shattered Soul Edge. If I had that. Who calls to me? What's going on? I can hear a voice from afar. It cannot be, can it? The sword that destroyed Soul Edge. It calls for help, I think. Inside the cursed sword? Take Soul Edge in hand? <sighs> My hand. It's shaking. If I grip Soul Edge, I, I might become Nightmare again. I must stay strong. There is no other way! That sword? You wish for me to hold you? <laughs> Stop right there! I shall not allow it! Are you Soul Edge? Just a little more, a little more, and this power will be mine! Your reign of terror ends here! <sighs> Submit to me! Obey my will!
to rely on his strength. Fight! You'll never enslave me again! of the Cursed Sword, it would be Siegfried. He who dashed Soul Edge's hopes of devouring Soul Calibur. was a thousand years ago. My desire for death was at its peak. That longing for true death led me to even take hold of Soul Edge. Wisdom, power, battle lust. In those days, I felt I could do anything. But when it was over, I was forced to confront just how prideful I had been. As a puppet of the Cursed Sword, I kept fighting to my last breath. And for what? I fought in an age of endless war that spanned the world, all to establish a certain dynasty. That is all I'll say on the matter. I've lived as every type of person. Old, young, man, woman. But I've never felt as much joy as when I wielded that power. However, not even the Cursed Sword could free me from the chains of Samsara. And so I died, and was born again into this world. for me, Rafi. You are supposed to be my guest, yet it is I who remain in your debt. You have allowed two strangers into your home, Lord Dumas. I am simply returning your kindness. My servants speak very highly of you, too. You possess great wisdom, quick judgment, and charity. That is why I feel most distressed. Will you not rethink dueling on my behalf? Certainly not, my lord. I am your sword and staff. I merely wish to protect your honor and name while you are ill. Try to have some dignity.
Very good, Raffi. Seeing your devotion has made up my mind. What do you mean, my lord? Listen, Raffi. I will soon meet my end, and I have no child of my own. It would make me so happy if you would become the heir to my fortune. However, I have one request. I am overwhelmed by your generosity. What is your request? That girl, Amy, is it? She is not your daughter, correct? If you are to become my son, you should send her away to an orphanage, perhaps. As I have said before, she seems to be a great weight around your neck. <laughs> I did not expect you to say such a thing. How about we continue this conversation over some tea? I recently managed to obtain some fine, rare chinaware from the East. Thank you. How are the lessons going? Very good, young master. The girl will grow into a fine lady. On his return, my lord will be struck dumb in disbelief. Still... Raphael, I think I'm more suited to sword practice. Can't you teach me, like you used to? Amy, you're smart enough to understand. If you want to carve a future for yourself, you need an education and manners. I know, but you meanie. As you can see, there is still some way to go. Amy. Can I really can offer, offer Amy, Amy a bright future, future like this? I came to this reading room looking for answers, but I'm coming up empty-handed. Ample finances, a safe place, a fine education. Despite the freedom this lifestyle offers, it's not enough. Hmm. This letter, report on the evil seed. Could it be? There's no mistaking it. This is research on that abominable evil seed. Malfestation, madness, the evolution of humanity? Interesting. sounds so fantastical. This was written by Scholar of the Future. Who could that be? Hmm? Soul Edge. A, a cursed sword that feeds on, on souls? Maybe you were mad about... I've been scared recently. It felt like to have something to lose till I met you. You have nothing to fear. I shall make you the perfect world. Raphael? Are you in here? Hmm? Of course. Here's a thought. How about some hot chocolate for a change? <laughs> 